I have known Sandy for over 20 years now. We used to work together in another life. And um, I have been gone. I used to live in L.A. for almost 10 years. And I absolutely loved it. And I had dreams of always coming back to L.A. But I decided since I was a Midwest girl and I had some extra meat on my bones, that I probably would not move here unless I was married. Move back. And then I had the traffic when I was here for two weeks. Two weeks. And I said, I don't think I can handle it. I just don't understand. People are so... Listen, you all, it's not only a lot of traffic. It's not just the traffic. It's the... It's the... Aggression. The aggression. The non-drivers. Yeah, it's, it, it's, 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 no, it's, I don't know that they're not, they're driving, so they can drive, right? But what I'm saying is, my talk today is about resilience and getting past circumstances. But we have choices to make. So if you know that you can't handle the aggressiveness, you have to choose to do something else. How about that? If you know you don't like the results you're getting, you have to choose your attitude. You have to choose your activities. You have to choose what you're going to do in order to make it through. And a lot of times, we don't recognize that things happened in our lives a long time ago, and that dictated how we respond and how we react. Are you with me? Yes. yes. Because a lot of times, if somebody comes and they step on your toe, like I have on sandals right now, okay? I was going to wear heels, but I was wearing, bringing one carry-on bag, and I had to put all the books and all my stuff in one bag, okay? So I didn't get any heels. Are you with me? I had to make a choice, okay? So I could wear heels to the airport and look crazy, so I could have my heels for you all, or I could bring some comfortable shoes and have more books so you all could buy them from me. How about that? All right. <laughs> okay. All right. And so what I'm saying is, if somebody steps on your toe, it probably hurts, right? So yes. your first reaction is to probably do what? Say ouch, right? Yes. But then you have a choice to make. So you can choose to step back on another person's toe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or you can acknowledge what happened. They stepped on my toe and it hurt. That's why I said ouch. Now, now that it hurt, what am I gonna do about it? Am I going to kick them? Am I going to cuss them out? I'm gonna wait for an apology and then see what happens. Are you with me? So when you look at things like stepping on a toe, oftentimes we step on people's toes and we don't even know we did it. In the metaphorical sense, you know what I'm trying to say? A lot of times we go around because we're angry or we feel pressed upon or somebody's aggressive toward us and then we act up. Anybody know about acting up? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We act up because you know what? Once you've lived to be a certain age, all of us are mature ladies in here in our own regard, then you know what? Tolerance gets a little less. You have a little bit less patience for mess. Are you with me? Yes. And so then we wonder why things are going on, but we have to take charge and we have to take control. And it starts with us. So. I wrote Broken Conditions and the series is called The Clean Color Girl Chronicles. Broken Conditions is the first book in the series. The second one is called um, Lady and the Chief and the third is Married and Divorced in the Same Year. Which happened to me. That is from my life. I just found out that my husband, my, my ex-husband, married and divorced in the same year. He is now getting divorced from his wife that he married before we were even divorced. So he will now be divorced in the same year twice. Oh. Wow. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> You heard what I said, right? Yeah. All right. So that's a blessing from the Lord that our that our relationship only lasted five months. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. yes. Okay, so we make choices, things happen. We have a choice to react, which is to kick somebody back or to step on their toe back, or we have a choice to assess where we are, why we are, and what we're going to choose to do about it so we can have a different result going forward. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. So a few months ago, I was on Facebook and I saw a quote and I thought it was so beautiful that I wrote it down. And I want to share that with you. This is not part of my book. I just wrote it in the book, okay? Okay. It is important to be kind. You can't know all the times that you hurt people in tiny, significant ways. It's easy to be cruel without meaning to be. There's nothing you can do about that. But you can choose to be kind. And a little old lady said that. How often are you kind to yourselves? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to ask you to repeat it. I'm going to say it, and I'm going to ask you to repeat what I'm saying. It is important to be kind. It is important, important to, be to be kind. Please participate. You don't have to repeat that part. Please choose to participate. I can't know all the times. I can't know all the times. That I've hurt people. That I've hurt people. In tiny significant ways. It's easy to be cruel. It's easy to be cruel. Without meaning to be. Without meaning to be. There's nothing I can do about that. 
There's nothing I can do about that. But I can choose. But I can choose to be kind. To be kind. I matter. I matter. I can choose. I can choose to be kind. To me. To me. And and to others. When they deserve it. When they deserve it. And they always deserve it. And they always deserve it. I can't believe some of you still repeated that last time. Older people who have a whole bunch of stuff, and you can't excuse that. But when you have a fine man, 